So you've just finished a day of adventure at Legoland and you're looking for a great place to eat. Well, here are our top five recommendations for places to eat near Legoland. Stay tuned and we'll tell you our favorite at the end. The first and probably the easiest one to recommend for those who are visiting Legoland is the Glory Days Grill because it's directly across the street. And it's pretty decent. I think it's actually a chain restaurant and it is more or less a diner. So it has some diner food. And of course there's a sports grill atmosphere. So there are lots and lots of televisions. So they have a selection of burgers and wings and some other kinds of things like that, some entrees and so on. All right, we got the chicken buffalo dip. I saw this on the menu and I thought I need to try this. Cheesy and tangy. Honestly, we made pretty quick work of this. It was really good. I got the ranchero chicken wrap. And I got the grilled chicken and the broccoli. I got the side salad. It's so good. What's that? Fish fry? Fish fry. Now the food at Glory Days Grill is okay, but there are lots of other localized options that are far superior in flavor and service. And the next one on our list is Manny's Chop House. Now there are several of these throughout the area. There's one in Haines City, one in Lake Wales, one in Winter Haven, and there might be some more. I just remember the house salad at Manny's Chop House being really delicious. We got some salads. And the great thing is that the salad bowl is endless, so you can have as much salad as you want. The bread has arrived. One night of the week, they run a special on fajitas. Oh, wow, look at this, fajitas. <laughs> it's delicious, and the fajitas are buy one, get one free on Wednesdays. Hey, babe, what'd you get? I got. I got the center cut sirloin and the baked potato. And ultimately we really enjoyed our dining experience there. It was really great food. This is something that we would highly recommend in the area. The number three recommendation on the list is Sizzling Grill Steak and Seafood. This place was actually pretty cool. The menu is pretty similar to Manny's Chop House in the selection of items. It has some quirky decor stuff going on. This location is a little bit pricier than some of the other places on our list. The sirloin is $18.99 on the low end and the filet mignon and the ribeye are $28.99 on the higher end. But the cool thing is that there's an early bird dinner on the back and if you come between 3 and 5 on Sunday through Thursday, except for holidays, then you can get some other prices. So I got this coloring board. I got salad, so it's good. We're really excited about this salad because it's bottomless and so we can have as much of it as we want. So we're really excited about that. The bread is here and it's super fluffy. So I got hot dogs and french fries. I got the chicken and mushrooms and the sweet potato. I got the chicken and mushrooms and a baked potato. The chicken is seasoned really well. It's delicious. Number four on our list is Aztec Doro, which is a Mexican restaurant located just down the road from Legoland. And those who watch our channel regularly know that we love Mexican food and we'll seek that out just about anywhere we go. So this was definitely one of the first places that we checked out when we visited Legoland. We did find that it is quite popular and because of its proximity to Legoland, when the park closes, you can expect that this place can get quite crowded. Okay, so we noticed when we left the park earlier that there's a Mexican restaurant that's just down the road from the, uh, from the park. And I guess everybody else noticed that too, because when we came in, uh, it looks like that the whole parking lot is full, so we had to park in some overflow parking down in like a lower parking lot, and it looks like it's going to be a long wait. I'm hoping that means that the restaurant is really popular and that the food is really good. So if you make the selection, then just be prepared in advance that you might have to wait for a little while before being seated. This can be especially important to consider if your children have been exploring Legoland or Peppa Pig all day long. Food has arrived. And while it's not our favorite Mexican restaurant in the entire state, it will give you a good Mexican food fix if you are in the Winter Haven area. 
So those are four recommendations for places you can check out near Legoland, but there's another place that's been on our radar for a little while that's another localized restaurant, and we have not yet eaten there. So we're gonna head over to our final location next. Right, we are eating at Woody's Barbecue, and this menu is huge, so I'm really excited about seeing what their selections are. It already smells nice and smoky in here, so I am anticipating some good barbecue. So I got the chicken and mashed potatoes and the french fries are for Pierce and we got some mac and cheese. I got the brisket and some mac and cheese, a baked potato, and then I asked for a loaded baked potato so they brought the toppings on the side. My baked potato is really good and I really like that they have mustard sauce here. This has been a real blessing. So the chicken's pretty good. The fries were a little overcooked, which that's fine, but the best thing is this sauce. This one's the sweet barbecue. I like this one. All right, which one would you hands down prefer above all the rest? I loved Manny's. I thought the food there was so good. I just remember the chopped salad and how amazing their homemade ranch was. And to me, that is the top tier. I love it. Yeah, Manny's is my favorite in this area as well.